Well, to talk more about the significance of key interest rates and the prospects of a rate hike in the U.S., I'm joined by University of Duisburg economist Professor Ansgar Belke. Professor Belke, thank you so much for joining us here on Made in Germany. I'd like to begin by asking why exactly there is so much anxiety around the world about a potential rate hike in the U.S.? Because it's of a worldwide significance. Uh, if the uh, U.S. Uh, increases its interest rates, this would uh, impact the emerging markets because they are more or less dollar-packed and also have to increase uh, their interest rates. And uh, additionally, capital would uh, rebound and flow into the United States, uh, where the uh, yield is higher than in their states. Well, all of this hesitation about raising the rates at their last meeting, they decided to keep the rate stable. The longer they wait, it seems that the instability is growing. And isn't that the opposite of what the Fed's uh, role is supposed to be? Aren't they supposed to ensure stability on the markets? Of course, it's the opposite. Uh, they, they have to target uh, infl inflation rates, the unemployment rates, and they are the figures, at least in terms of the unemployment rate, uh, are very good. And uh, if you look at oil price developments, commodity price developments, this is also uh, quite good uh, developments, which we see there, because uh, if uh, oil prices decrease, the consumers have more to consume. And this is good news. And of course, uncertainty about uh, the increase of the interest rate will hamper investment. It's a value of waiting which, for investors, which is um, implied by that. Well, at the very least, Fed officials have said that any rate hike will be gradual. Shouldn't this reassure people? Yeah, on the one hand, uh, it should reassure them because you have to be careful. Because if interest rates uh, go up, uh, also those people with much debt uh, get, are getting into more risk. We call this uh, the, the default, the pro problem of default. But you have to be gradual because it's unknown terrain. If you increase the rates, you don't have to look at investment development. And uh, so you have to be careful with exiting, but you should exit in December, for instance. Well, I suppose all indications are, in fact, that there will be a rate hike. It's not a question of if, it's more a question of when. Developing countries are very nervous about this, but what can they do to at least minimize any negative, a negative impact on their economies? Not all emerging markets are very nervous. Look at India, Indonesia, and so they argue that they have prepared uh, for this. They have more flexible exchange rates, uh, they have more foreign uh, exchange reserves and have taken some efforts to improve on their financial sector stability. And they are pleading for an exit of these kind of uh, policies right now. Professor Belka, thank you so much for your insights.